Shane, not really expecting a tornado warning today, but sure enough, during the 4 o'clock news, here one comes from Pike County. Fortunately, I haven't seen any reports of damage. No reports of damage. I uh, haven't really seen any reports of uh, anything besides those few photos we had. So hopefully it was just some scary looking clouds and just a little radar indicated storm. Uh, but the thing is, we're going to see several storm chances over the next couple of days, although I don't think it'll be quite as strong from here on in. Uh, let's take a look at outside the WYMT studio right now. It's a bit of a gray sky on this Monday early evening, and we're going to continue to see this clouds and a few showers. Pinpoint Doppler picking up on a little bit of light rain across the region, although not nearly as strong as what we saw earlier. Had that flash flood warning down in Laurel and Jackson counties, had the tornado warning in Pike County. A little busy way to start off the month of June, a little busier than I thought we would be too, but uh, that storm had just enough oomph to get going as we had a lot of cold air clashing into the warm air we had earlier in the day. We're down to the 60s now in West Liberty, Sayersville, back over towards Campton and Jackson, 66 over in Elkhorn City, Pikeville, same story down in Middlesbrough, Corbin, you're checking in around 65, 63 into London, a few scattered showers from Whitley City back over to Monticello, and we will continue to see light rain and fog for the remainder of the evening. A little area of low pressure spinning off in western Kentucky. It's an upper level low and it's a slow mover. It's going to take a couple days to boot that system on out of here. So until we do, we're going to keep those chances of showers around, mainly during the afternoons. Then as we go into the overnights, we'll deal with mainly cloudy skies and some dense fog from all the low level moisture. And then those storms will fire up again tomorrow afternoon. Although the best chances tomorrow going to be down along the Virginia and Tennessee borders. I don't think everybody sees rain tomorrow, but what most of us will see tomorrow is a bit of fog as we start off the day in the mid to upper 50s. Taking into the afternoon, we're only topping out in the low 70s, so a little bit of a cooler day again tomorrow. Hit or miss showers possible. Wednesday looking like a better chance as that storm pushes off to the east. We'll see a little wraparound moisture come in and a highs top back out into the upper 70s on Wednesday. And we're really going to warm the pattern up as we head back into the end of the week. So if you're missing the 80s, hang in there. They'll return shortly. As far as additional rainfall, a future view saying not too much, maybe a half inch to an inch and the overall pattern looking pretty active as we go through the week. We'll calm down just a little bit though on Friday and that's good news for years truly because I'll be out at the Polk Salad Festival in Harlan uh, for guest weather on Friday. Only a 20% chance. Temperatures in the mid 80s. I will remember my sunscreen this time <laughs> and then uh, we will see uh, more thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday, Steve. We have our golf classic Friday at Stonecrest too, so that's an important day. Yeah, really important day and the weather looking pretty good. All right, Shane, thank you. Up next in sports, American